Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Sunday morning worship service here, our baptism service. Uh, we're so glad that you could join us today. Uh, some announcements before we get started. Reminder to everyone, please fill out the fellowship pad that's located in each pew. Also want to let the uh, well, kids and parents know that there will be no junior church today. We're going to ask the kids to stay here uh, in the service so they don't miss uh, the baptism. Uh, because we are Baptists, so. Uh, but the nursery uh, will be available right up at the top of the steps, the first room up there on the left, so uh, if anyone needs to go there, it is uh, open and staffed. Uh, looking through this week at the church, uh, tonight at 6 o'clock uh, here at the church will be Grief Share, and at 6.30, uh, Bible Study. On Tuesday night, uh, the boards will be meeting at 6.30. Notice the, the time change. Uh, and the council will be meeting at 7. Uh, we do invite uh, all of our board members to please be there uh, for those meetings. Thursday through Saturday, we'll be having our mini mission trip to Camp Judson. Uh, and there is still uh, time if you want to uh, be there for part of that. But please uh, keep that in your prayers. Uh, both the, the mission team going, uh, as well as Cam Judson. Also, please note there's an insert for the uh, Daughters Banquet uh, that is upcoming in a few weeks. 
So please take a look at that and all the other announcements listed. Uh, do we have any other announcements this morning? Our call to worship this morning is Psalm 67. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us, that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you rule the peoples justly and guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. Then the land will yield its harvest, and God, our God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth will fear him. Let us pray. O oh God, we do praise you. We lift up your holy name. We thank you for your many blessings. We thank you for this day that you've given us to gather together. We thank you for the beautiful sunshine, for the flowers, the green grass, the change of seasons. Lord, you are the great creator, the maker of all things. Lord, we ask you to be here among us today. We ask that you will fill this place with your Holy Spirit. We thank you for those that are being baptized today, those that are making their profession of faith public to you and to all of us. Lord, we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Would you please stand as we sing number 234, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the cross. We thank you so much for what was accomplished at Calvary, 
on our behalf by you, Jesus. And we know this morning that without you, we'd be toast. There's nothing we could do about our condition because of our sinfulness. And thank you so much that you, the perfect one, came and you journeyed to that cross. And as we celebrated just recently, that the tomb is empty and we have now victory through you. Rejoice in that this morning and we celebrate that this morning, especially as we walk into this amazing moment with three individuals today where they are having that profession of baptism before their church family, friends, and loved ones and family. And I thank you that we have the privilege and honor of sharing in this moment with them. And Lord, would you uh, just continue to just today speak to our hearts about your love for us, about the lengths you would go for us to get us to be able to have these amazing relationships through you, Jesus, and you alone with the Father. Thank you for that gift. And today, may we catch and see and know the depths of your love as we celebrate this moment and as we spend these times of worship in your presence. And we love you and pray this in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, amen. 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 Please be seated. As the uh, choir's coming forward this morning to sing, I just want to just uh, have this slip out, the pink slip, the daughter's banquet. You're like, what is that? H how many of you ladies in here are a daughter? <laughs> okay, good, good. So you're all daughters, right? So this is a banquet for all of our ladies. If you are a lady, this is for you. And, uh, and we are having this at our church here on Saturday, May 18th at 5 p.m. in Hunter Hall. We have a special speaker, uh, Jody Walters, that my wife has known for many years. And she's just a sweet lady, a fun lady who loves the Lord and loves women's ministry and ministering to women. So she's going to be here to share from the word that day with you to encourage your hearts. We're bringing her in for that. So you're going to be fed. Uh, physically, fed spiritually, and guess who's going to hopefully serve? All the guys in the church. H how many sons are in the congregation? Anybody a son? Okay, good. All the sons are coming to serve you that <laughs> night, so that it's not just me and my son serving you, hopefully, at the banquet. But seriously, any guy that can serve, uh, we want you to come. We're going to serve the ladies well that night, love them. It's $15 a plate. You'll see the menu. It's going to be a great night. Sign up out there at the information table, and you can get the money in through offerings or see us uh, at some point to get that in. We trust you, uh, but looking forward to it. So mark it on your calendar. So let's be a part of that.
Oh, 